Lesson 93 is about products and quotients of rational expressions. The best way to learn about these is just to go ahead and do some practice problems. So look at practice problem A. You see that we have two rational expressions that are multiplied together. Remember a rational expression, that just means ratio or fraction. And both of those, they, are, they have trinomials in them. And these problems are designed for you to factor those trinomials into binomials and then cancel where you need to. So let's go ahead and start with this one by factoring the trinomials into binomials. And so we'll have that top left one, make two sets of parentheses, then we can put our fraction bar, x plus 3 times x plus 1. And then the one below it would just be an x plus 1 times an x plus 1. Put our multiplication symbol and a fraction bar, and we'll factor the top right trinomial and put our parentheses up, we'd have x plus 5 times x plus 1. And then the bottom one, we'd end up with an x plus 3 times an x minus 7. Now, we've got it factored into binomials. And once you do that, they're, they're set up to cancel things in the numerator and the denominator. So start looking for things to cancel and start with the plus 3 or the x plus 3 on the left and you just think of the values inside the parentheses as one factor. So basically there's four factors in the numerator and four factors in the denominator. Factors that are the, sim the same, they can cancel. This x plus 3 can cancel with the x plus 3 in the denominator because they are similar factors. Likewise, the x plus 1 that's next can cancel with the x plus 1 immediately, immediately beneath it. Then we go over to the right. We have an x plus 5. It does not cancel with anything. But the x plus 1 can cancel with the other x plus 1 that is left. So we're only left with one binomial in the numerator and one in the denominator. And so our answer ends up being x plus 5 over x minus 7. That is the simplified form of that rational expression. Let's do one more. Now this one is a division problem. And on division, just like if you had a complex fraction, you invert the denominator and multiply above and below by that. It's the same idea here. You invert that second part or the divisor and multiply by it instead of dividing. So let's just go ahead and factor first and on the top left we'll have two binomials and we'll say x minus 6 times x plus 3. That would get us x squared minus 3x minus 18. And then on the bottom we'll have an x plus 7 times an x plus 3. Now, put a multiplication symbol here and take the denominator of the original rational expression, put that in the numerator, x squared minus 49. You should recognize that that is a difference of two squares, so that is going to be x minus 7 times x plus 7. And then the x squared minus 4x minus 12, we just need to factor that out. And that will be a minus 6 and a positive 2. x minus 6 times x plus 2. Okay, so now we can go ahead and cancel. Cancel the x minus 6's. And then the x plus 3's, those will cancel. The x plus 7's will cancel as well. And we're left with x minus 7 over x plus 2. And that's the simplification of that rational expression. And so when you see a problem and it says to simplify and you see all these trinomials in it, that's what you do is you factor them first and then cancel. If you have one that's a division problem, you need to invert that divisor and make it a multiplication problem. Just like you do on complex numbers. You invert the divisor fraction or the denominator fraction, multiply above and below by it. 
Okay, well that's all for lesson 93.